It is Sunday morning. We start hunting on Wednesday. Heading up today. I uh, want to get uh, baits uh, freshened up a few days before we hunt. Um, from past history, I know about the third day after we bait with no human activity is when the baits really peak with the big bears. So, gonna try to hit that timing right. Hopefully, uh, there's still bait up there. Hopefully, it didn't get washed out in the rain or soured. Guess we'll find out when we get up there. Um, Steve's been up there for quite a while. He's been up there since Wednesday. Fishing, hanging out. He's got the wife up there. Said he's been catching some walleyes. Maybe I'll give that a try after we get baited up. John is behind me with a trailer full of bait. And behind him, lagging in the back, is Chris. And uh, he's got his canoe along. Should be a good time. Kind of need this escape. We're just uh, going to one of the first baits now. Uh, we got a lot of rain yesterday. The lakes are all back up and uh, when did it stop raining? At ten o'clock this morning? About ten o'clock this morning she finally petered out and the sun popped out. Steve said that uh, uh, the storm was pretty wicked, drew a lot of the campers out of here. And we got a good camping spot uh, just barely. Just after we got in there everybody was trying to get it. So. Excited to see what's going on out there. So you already got some mold right there. Good. That'll mean he won't get far. He eats that habanero for sick, he ain't getting far. <laughs> I didn't when I ate the other half. So we're coming up on Steve's bait, which is out here in this swamp. This whole ro road, they came down here with equipment right after we baited and cut all the low brush, and I mean miles of it up and down this road. Um, the one good part is this section here is a little remote from where they were cutting, but where they're cutting is where the bears feed. So hopefully it didn't spook them too bad. What do you think? You think hit or not hit? I believe this hit. is a hit. We need to believe. I have a brown bear on this bait. Yeah. I want to I'm see the thing come back again. Oh. You grab the scent when you got the rest of it. Alright. Looks like it's been hit, John. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, good hit too. They really cleaned out most of the bait. Yeah. Hardly anything left, just a little scraps. Steve's happy. This is his favorite spot. tracks right in the food. That one looks like it's been since it rained. He moved the dirt. Alright, well cool. There's a p nice pad here. Nice. Alright. They didn't even eat the sign. <laughs> Steve's happy. He, now here's to hoping that, that that red bear is back. That's exactly right. Can just pour right in the center? Right? Yep. yep. Just pour it right in the middle. Ooh, that smells good already. I haven't even put no scent on it. We had big hunks of fudge and cookies. And, oh, 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 that's a big bear. Unless he's just, that's a big bear. What time is it? It was on 
Yeah, 4.30 in the 4.30. Ooh, nice and early. Nice and early. Nice. Vanilla? Yeah, it's an LED. Oh, he's got like a mark in the tree. He's great. He's just lighting a little bit on the trails. Did you move it? You got that. That one during the day. Wild cherry scent. is pretty good. Like it was really high up too. So it catches some of the breeze. And then the mountain tree, the trail. You see it's still four minutes ago. You can see it. Yeah. Coming in from this side. Goes through there. Goes through there. It's going to get some uh, anise. This morning, yeah, I could see they're putting it too early. It rained since then, man. Eh? Oh, we also got a really strong anise and a really strong concentration of berry scent. So Steve, why do we not open windows in the truck while we're driving through the woods? Arachnia. <laughs> we have arachnia phobia up here. So when we drive around with the windows open back in here, the whole inside of the truck will fill up with spiders from the branches slapping the truck. And the last time we were up here, we drove around through the woods with the windows open. And for two weeks, there were spiders crawling on me every time I got in here. And uh, they were normal spiders. The spiders up here are like purple and green and like the size of, you know, donuts. <laughs> <laughs> these, these were large spiders. Carol especially liked them. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the windows closed. <laughs> a little larger and we could have had a meal like frog legs. We can put the air on. Keep the windows closed. You, put, you open the windows when you get in the main road. Now they got a logging slip thing. So they got active logging going on here. You can see they cut down a bunch of the pines. Our bait was about 100 yards over there. So another one that's taken out by the loggers. So now we're down to 10 baits. This was a good one too. This was a good one. I mean, everybody makes fun of it. Yeah. But uh, lots of bears show up. Yeah. Two years in a row, two bears shot here. None of the other baits have a pair every year being shot at them. Or every time we're up here, I should say. Really getting pounded right here. Just coming in, crossing the little road and going right into the bay. Yeah, this trail is really getting pounded now. Look at that. All the way up and down, we saw bear trails cross in the swamp. But this one is just pounded. It goes right up our trail into the bait. This is probably a smart bear. He's taking our trail. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that, though. That's getting pounded. Wow, he must be sleeping right over here. I bet you this one's hit. I bet you. <laughs> if you look right here, look at how big that pad is. Let's look at the camera on this one. We might bring more bait out to this one. There's a, there's a pile of shit out here, and it looks like dog food. Where's that? Right outside the edge of the woods. Oh, nice. Big, big. Nice. You saw dumb breeze in there? Yeah. I mean, it really scattered the logs, too. Everything was buried with heavy logs. There's big pads with marks back there. Looks like there's a split off right here too. There's got to be a lot of bear coming in here. That bear's just coming back and forth all day and night. I mean, there's a lot been eaten. Yeah, the bait's almost gone. I mean, there's nothing left. I'm gonna go grab some more. Okay. Here we go. You got one? Much nicer bear. Much nicer bear. Let's see. Here's a nicer bear. 
Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Definitely. See? Oh, that's a... Yeah, that's a good one. It's starting to get belly. At night, though. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be in there in the day by the amount of uh, bait missing. There's, There's there your is. day. I think that's a smaller one. Yep. And that is at... That was on the Small ones come in during the day. We'll bring the big ones in during eight, the day. 8.25 at 5.14. Ooh. That looks like got a... Got chased off. At... That's... 7-Eleven at night. The bigger one came yep, in. Yep, chased them away. Chased them out. There's the big at one. At night. So it's all opened up. That little one comes. Yeah. There he is again. And this is at 2.10 is in the afternoon. What day? On... 8.26. Which is, what is today? 20, uh, 29th. 29th. Well, you know what the good, oh, good news. Using my, my tree? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Good news is we have 80 pictures, no, 60 pictures for the next three days. Oh, there's a big one there. Yep. Yeah, this is looking good. That's a pretty good bear there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a decent one. Ears are small. I look like the little guy in the background there. That's He's all over that at night here. Yeah. They're coming in from the right. Yeah, that's a little guy. Yeah, that's the problem with it. Mine's getting chased off. Maybe the other one's coming in. Another little guy here. They're actually taking our, our trail in. They're smart. They always came from that way in the old days. Here's one coming in from the back. Well, that's what they used to do. Yeah. Nope, little but little one. This is even littler. Oh, he's sitting there for us. Posing. That looks like the bigger one. This is the bigger one, I think. Look at that. Nice. That one's Looks like the trick's getting in here without spooking them. That's definitely. This is definitely a kill spot. A few days this will be prime. Yep. Yep, for sure. If somebody sits here opening day, if we have D. That's what I'm going to look. 829. At 2.47, we kicked them out of here. Yep. We, we kicked them off the bed. We booted them. He was there, huh? Bear was here at 2.46. Okay, so we got a uh, bear trail coming in out here. We got a bear trail coming in and out of there. We got them coming in and out of here. You can see where they're getting behind the bait over there in the trees. Where I had a crib, they pulled the crib apart. And they're really coming in a lot from over there. That's where the bear poops were. But that's where we come in and we can't really change our routine. So for trees, we're thinking that one or this one over here. What do you think, Steve? I think this one, I'm in favor of the one on the right. It offers so get right in that little hole there where the pine limb is? Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Hole. Then if he comes on the trail, we can whack him when he goes broadside. If he stops. If he doesn't stop, let him oh. go to the bait. On the other An arrow through his heart has a, has nice a tendency to stop them. <laughs> <laughs> tough to tough to move without a pump. Yeah, Steve. If if um, if uh, we put Chris here, Chris uses a rifle. That's something to think about. Either way, I don't think either tree'd hurt him. Actually, I still think that that tree's better. The rifle too. Yeah. It's got good cover too. Good, behind it. Good background. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so, he'll so blend in real well. He won't, they won't get sky. Yeah. Otherwise, there's a chance in the other one that they silhouette you. Yeah. Not so this good. one wasn't hit last week, right? No. It's a big pile of poo right there. Oh, no. You know what else, too? I think somebody else was out here hunting. You know how they always hang the nut sack in a tree? Yeah. Look at this. Somebody hung a bear nut sack right here. <laughs> Check this out. Look. Can you see it? 
They're shooting some big bears around here. Big bears. But that poop is a good sign. Taste it. See if it tastes like our, our chocolate. Or if, like or if it's our Pop Tarts or <laughs> blueberries. Mmm. Blueberries. Yeah, it is smashed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's pooping ribbons. Yeah. That ribbon wasn't there. No, it's somebody else's ribbon. Hmm. Nice. He didn't sit in the crib like the last one either. Looks like he did sit there though. Yep. And over there. And right here. But look at that, that don't matter from that tree. Yeah, that's our tree, Steve. You see it? We got a tank. Let's see. Patton would be proud. Oh, that is a big bear. That's a giant. Woo. But now uh, you don't have many pictures, huh? Well, he came yeah. early. 25th or something? 25th. It's the last time he was here. It's been a while. Yes. So, but now we got fresh bait out, so maybe he's a donut eater. Look at that big hump on his back. That's an old bear. That's a, this is a big bear. Yeah, that's a real big one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, he probably came in and ate all the goodies. He ate all the sweets and... So now he'll smell we're here and he'll come back. We baited on a Sunday and he came in on a Wednesday. Yeah, that's a giant. He's he's sniffing right there. So when did he come in from when we baited? On uh, Wednesday. And when did we bait? Sunday. So three Sunday days, Sunday. like I said. Perfect. Yeah. But I have 400... And 56 pitchers going in reverse. Yeah, well, he probably so he sat there and he ate all the goodies. He ate all the good stuff in a couple days. and Doesn't look like he liked dog food. Doesn't like dog food. All right, let's get out of here. Excuse me. No, he loves dog food, Purina. He loves dog food. <laughs> Sponsored by Purina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, came out and baited this uh, bait here, and there was a really big bear on this camera. So we came back to put up the cellular camera so we can monitor it remotely so we don't have to come in here and check the camera and get our scent in the area. We can tell if there's a big bear here. And if there is, then we'll just come in here on opening day, set up a stand, and kill that big bear. It looks like this bear is smart. He's just coming in, eating the donuts, the real sweets, and then he's not coming back to the bait. So we've put a lot of donuts, a lot of cookies, a lot of sweets here to keep them here. Uh, so that he keeps coming back to this bait. Uh, he seems to like that better than some of the other now We just spent about an hour filling all these buckets for tomorrow, so we're ready to go in the morning early. We want to start breeding early. Load all these in the back of the truck. We're going to put that out at about 7, something like that. Yeah. We've got six baits to bait tomorrow. Uh, we got all the buckets ready. They're all the same contents mixed up. We got cookies in there, we got pop tarts in there, we got uh, like sugar cones, and uh, we, we got two different kinds of cookies, so it's really a good bait. Uh, how many, we're going to put about four buckets on each bait? Five. Five yeah. buckets on each bait, so we'll have uh, literally 30 gallons uh, almost on each bait, so. Hopefully that lasts us to Wednesday. Yeah. Supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. No rain. Not too hot for baiting. Yeah. So it'll be good. Hopefully it's windy like this tomorrow morning too because that the bears can't hear us in here then. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, spook them as well. Much. Yep. So it should be good. We're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna go have some dinner. Alright. Uh, I heard Steve uh, cook for Steve's us. Steve's made a special I, casserole. I don't know about this. What is it? Some egg, egg, plant, plant casserole. casserole. Uh, I don't know what's in it, but uh, he really likes know. it. So he's he, better, uh, he better watch out. It better be good. Egg, plant, casserole. Yeah, there could be mutiny. Good, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, there ain't much up here to eat. We're going to be digging in the <laughs> bait barrels. Bait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those vanilla cookies are smelling pretty good. Yeah, I don't, it's good. It I don't smells know. good. I mean, the bears are going to like this. What do you think, Chris? Egg, plant, casserole? about the bears. The eggplant casserole, uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go see what he's got. What do you got going on over here? It's time for a chow. Where'd you hide your wife? <laughs> What's that? Where'd you hide your wife? Oh, she's at the stove. Oh. I make it, she heats it up. <laughs> Sounds like she's making it if she's at the stove. No, I, I'm the chef of the family. Okay, alright, alright. She's heating her up the, with the microwave. We we're just having a big discussion on film about your egg, egg plant. Egg plant casserole. Because we're scared. 
don't be scared. <laughs> what kind of meat is it? It's Italian. What kind of meat is in there? There is none. It's a vegetarian Are dish. you a vegetarian? I am not. <laughs> Tomorrow night is meat. We don't want to overload you with meat. You know we're eating Wednesday night. What are you eating Wednesday night? Bear meat. Steaks off your bear. Back straps. We're cutting up your back straps. That'd be good. But I wonder if they night, taste cinnamon if it's a cinnamon bear. Pork. Really? Eleven hours on the on the smoker. Nice, nice. And we're gonna have corn by John. All right. And I made coleslaw yesterday. Speak of the devil. Here comes number one. Oh, look at that. I can handle it. There you go, Dan. Just like like, like crispy to looks guinea pig just here. like just like wow. at the restaurant. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Japanese eggplant? Japanese. Japanese eggplant. So it's not like normal eggplant? Is that the eggplant casserole? It actually ain't bad. Oh. You put a steak in there, it'd be pretty good. Yeah. Do you uh, remember the conversation we had about opening the window in the truck? I certainly do about them damn spiders up here in the north. <laughs> I got a story for you. They're Last hard. night we were sitting around the picnic table. You're over here, probably already in bed. And uh, in the pitch black, John says, "Hey, Dan, there's a big spider on your back." I'm like, "How could you see a spider on my back?" He goes, "It is huge." <laughs> and Chris looks behind me and goes, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I was afraid to knock it off. <laughs> it was like it was huge. Huge. Show them with your fingers. How big was it? Oh, the body on it was like that. Oh, it was big wolf spider. Big butt. I never seen a spider like that. It was like it was like this. Oh, he took a picture. Yeah, it's that one. That's a tarantula. Yeah, I don't know. It looked like it. And then when it hit the ground, it starts running at me. I had to step out of the way. It turns, runs at me again, and I had to stomp on it. <laughs> when I knocked it off, it Just think if he would have laid down in his. Sleeping bag with that thing. <laughs> it was connected with a web to him too. It, it was going for my it juggler. Off, right back up the web toward him again. It was like right up by my neck. <laughs> oh god! No windows. No, the windows aren't going down today. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell that. Oh my! That's big. Mm -hmm. So we brought a freezer along and a generator. And uh, that's the only way we can take care of bears here because uh, you have to cut them up right away and uh, get them on ice and there's no place else to do do it out here. You guys ready to go bait some bears? Let's go. I'm excited to see what happens at these baits. Me too. The fact that they ate every little grain of food is crazy. I mean, we had a lot of bait there. We dumped extra last time because this was a knot to hit the first yeah. day. So if this gets hunted, it's right there. Yeah. See that? It wouldn't even be a bad idea to come in from over there through the swamp if you, if you marked it. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's pretty good. So look at this pile of poop vector. It's huge. Right there. So. It's right in this past the clearing with the two leaves down. You see it. There ain't even a grain of dog food down there. Wow. So we got reset up. What logs weren't eaten, we put back over it. There's a big pile of crap there. There's a big pile of crap over there. I can't believe they ate all that bait because when we came back the first time, it wasn't hit. Yep. So we added bait. Yep. So it had about seven five-gallon buckets of bait on it, and it's all gone. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, the logs are even gone. Not they just ate the, the oily logs. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't even one piece of food. No, not even a piece of dog food. So, empty. so we found we have cell service. So John's setting up a cell cam. And uh, maybe we can get some first-hand knowledge. Now, we're supposed to have an east wind on uh, Wednesday, so we're going to watch it because that could change. We're going to see what happens. And if it's a west wind, we might not hunt it Wednesday. But... Well, there is a pond over there, so you said... Yeah, if it gets calm, we get those thermals that go down towards the water here. The spot's up here right over so the here's water. here's a remote spot that they ate all the bait. Now the trails are more dead. We saw clawing on this tree coming in that's fresh. And here's what he did to the camera, the cell cam. But luckily we had a backup cam. So you see uh, bear poop all along the trail coming in. So they've been marking us. They marked that tree on our trail. 
But this is where they usually come from, it's one of these two trails. Looks like they got a back trail coming in too. They ate everything though, so they've, it looks like they were out of food for a while. They are eating a ton. So how far of a walk do you think that is that back there? Um, I don't know. It's a little over an eighth mile? Oh, at least, yeah. yeah it's pretty far. Well, it's not straight either. It's all curvy all the way back. Right. By the way, but how thick it is, you have to stay on our trail. Oh, you can't get off. And then you find bear poop on it, right? All the way through. And checking to see if we're here. Now look where they're coming from. Our trail goes in right here. Yep. Here's their trail coming across. Yeah. See that coming out of that tangle down there? Right across here and right up our trail. You think you're taking our trail in? Yep, I think they're following our trail. And, and look around. Look at how though, right? thick it was. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And camera will probably show which ones. But if you looked, our trail had bear poop all along it and one of the trees was marked. Yep. Interesting. Bear, 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 obviously. Empty out. There's bear crap everywhere. There's bear crap here coming in all through here. Berries all in it. You can see one here, there, right by our bag. The backside's loaded. I mean, this bait is empty, and this is the one they were in, like, when we left last time. They came in yeah, right they were in here, like, left. 15 minutes after we left. We weren't even through the truck yet. And we chainsawed all these logs that day. Yeah, we chainsawed these logs, and 15 minutes later, the bear was here. There's a pile of crap here, all full of berries again. There's a pile there. there. There's a pile there. And there's a pile back here that was really fresh. Right here. Look at all those berries in it. Whatever those are, they're eating them like crazy. Last week it was choke cherries. We got a tree set up right there. How does that work for an east wind? We're gonna have to check. So, we're looking at this. This bear has been in here four days in a row in daylight in the evening. So we're thinking this is a very killable bear. Um, our tree was set up over there. We know there's going to be an east wind for opening day. So we had a tree set up here last time. That's where I hunted last time. So we're looking at that tree now. I went to break a branch out of the way, and which is interesting is it has these berries on it. I'm still not quite sure what kind of tree this is, but that's the berries that are in the bear poop. And they're all over right here around the bait. That's why the, the poop is full of those berries. These are what was inside the mm -hmm. poop factory. So that's pretty interesting. I'll have to figure out what kind of tree that is. I'm sure somebody who's watching will know. Looks like they found something over there. Moose track. Ah, oh, there's a bear track right there. See the toes and the claws? That's a back foot. There's a front foot right here. See the pad? That ain't actually a bad pad. You can see the claws sticking into the dirt there and the toes. Probably went in and got a drink. He's probably trying to catch the beaver. There's the beaver hut. You got a set over there. Yeah, here's where he walked out. He walked right into the water. He doesn't come back either, so he goes across. You can see his tracks going right through. That's a good track there. It's not huge, but it's a nice one. The one over there was a little bigger, but a little harder to see. But they walk right across the pond here. So it ate the sign again. Well, put it back there this time. You'd even put it on a white tree and just put it up as high as you can reach. Yeah. Yeah. Clean this all real good. Yeah, it's cleaned out completely. And it wasn't hit last week. So, I carry two. They the sign too, look behind you. <laughs> I just ripped it down, that's like. Yeah. So, oh. Four, five. I don't think so. That's just from something above it, like a squirrel or something. Yeah, that camera's still aiming good. So this spot, we got a nice downhill tree down there on the route in, where the bears don't come from. It's got that thermal drop. So it'll be interesting to see what's coming in here. Man, they really ripped this up. These are some big logs that just pull out of here like this. Mm. Not a drop left. These spiders are insane. <laughs> That's the thing that was crawling on my neck the other night. 
Stick your finger there, see if he bites you. <laughs> <laughs> you first. <laughs> It'll probably take a piece off. And that's why we can't let let uh, <laughs> Steve handle the button for the window. He opened it up for just a second, and all these things got in and got all over us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking real. Well, kill the bastard. What do we got to kill him with? Just your finger. It's a little tip for you. When you're bear hunting, everybody knows that nobody's going to be in camp during hunting hours. So what we do is we put a little trail camera up here. We got an Exodus trail cam watching the camp. And that way, if anybody comes in here, you know it. Um, we've caught people looking through our freezer in the past. We've caught them looking through our barrels to see what we're using for bait. We, you know, and we've got some expensive gear here. So um, if somebody comes in here, it's going to be somebody from the campground and we'll recognize them. So uh, it's nice to have a little protection. So it's a tip for the day. How's it going, Tyler? Pretty good. You guys excited? Yeah, yeah. definitely. We're pumped. Yeah. I'm so trying to find a way to talk John out of his spot. I'm going to go over there and kill his bear. I don't think it's big enough for you. <laughs> I've been seeing a, a bear with a blonde mane. It's a chocolate bear with a blonde mane. If that comes in, I'll be happy. Otherwise, there's a really big bear at that bait, too. Whichever one comes in first. What are yeah. you thinking? I think you just got one bear in it. Well, it could be two bears. They're both. But, uh, you know, it was hard to tell in the pictures because sometimes it's at night. Mm -hmm. They look kind of similar in size. It, it could be just one, but maybe two. I was looking like he's on all fours. He's spread out, his back is about this high. He's a pretty good sized bear, yeah. He's like 32 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's That's a good bear. It's going to be a lot of work yeah. getting the bears out, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to kill bears today. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. we got kind of a plan where um, that we've noticed over the years that uh, you put the baits out, and three days later they're settled down and they're calm and they've forgotten all about people and they're coming in really, really hard. So we got that three-day thing going. We baited three days ago, and uh, I think the baits are going to be on fire. Yeah, definitely. They're going to be coming in. They yeah. seem to like coming in right at six to seven. Last week when we baited, three days after we baited, every bait had multiple big bears on it all day and night long, three days later, which is where we're at right now. It'll be good. Yeah. Chris is going over to the lost bait. The lost bait. Yep. Uh, the lost bait started out a little slow because it had uh, one big sow mm -hmm. coming in uh, sporadically and nervously. But then this last week it just blew up. There's heavy trails coming in from all the different directions and piles of poop all around it. And yeah. There's been a few bears on that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it lo looks like an easy kill. And it's a good spot for him. He can get back a little bit. He's using a rifle. What do you use, a 30-30? Yeah. 30-30 lever action. Yep. One no. thing you got to worry about is that uh, on a big bear, you might not be able to take that coming at you shoulder shot like you do with a deer. Mm. I think you still got to get behind that shoulder. I'll take my time. And wait. I mean, I'm far enough back. If I don't, if they don't win me, though, I'll, I'll wait. I don't need to yeah. shoot him the second I see him. Just get the camera rolling on him. Yep. I will. I'll turn it on as soon as I see one. Yeah, it's like the hardest part. So Steve's bait, he's got uh, one big bear just coming in constantly all day long. So, mm. I mean, we haven't checked the camera in two days, two or three days, but uh, I think he's going to get them. The wind's a little iffy, but if you remember when I shot my bear, that was the same spot, and the wind being wrong didn't hurt me because of that valley, it sucked the right. The yeah, there's a, there's a weird thing going on in there. Yeah. The wind is always a little bad there and always a little good. I wonder if it's because of the road. It's so close right there. It comes up and over. I think it has something to do when you get in there, look at the terrain. Yeah, okay. So when the wind's blowing over, it does something where it has like a back vacuum. Because mm -hmm. last last year, or last time we hunted here, that wind was dead wrong. But when I kept checking Yeah, when me and John checked it on the road, it was blowing right in there. But we didn't walk in there like you did. You right. know what I mean? Yep. So, on the other side of the road, you I mean, got I had that swamp and that trout pond over there too could be pulling. Yeah, I got, I got uh, four bears came in that day, and not a one of them winded me. Hmm. 
And that giant was under me for a while because he had to, or she had to turn broadside or whatever. Mm. It's going to be good. I think so. All of us are on good baits. Do you know where you're going yet? Yeah, I think I'm going to go to that really far back one. For the brown one? Yeah, for uh, the skunk bear. Skunk bear. Yeah, with the, skunk with the bear blonde is, mane. It's chocolate yeah. and it's got a blonde mane. It almost looks longer, like a horse's mane. Like the, the blonde really? sticks out that much. Yeah. Nice. I don't remember ever even seeing a bear like that. No. Unique. You know that somebody has shot. Have you? No, I've never seen a bear like that ever. It's kind of a strange looking bear. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen the pictures at all. Maybe that's got a really big bear on it too. Either one of them comes in. I'm shooting mm -hmm. it. Just not shooting a little rat. Yeah, when you see it on camera at night, it's like a total different color. There's like three black ones and then one white. It almost looks like gray, silver. Yeah. What's uh, what's interesting is uh, when the pictures are black and white at night, you can tell it's a color phase oh, yeah. more than you can during daylight because the color phase, even the dark chocolate ones, don't come up jet black at night. Yeah. They come up with like a gray look to them. Yeah, in the daytime, there's shadows you can't even tell anyway. Everything's right. really dark, so right. it's hard to Everything see. Everything looks black in daytime. Yeah. We also had a cell cam on the junk pile bait, and that showed that that bait really wasn't getting hit well the last night or two. And the striped bear, or skunk bear, hadn't been in in two days. So I changed my mind, just like John did, based on the cell cam advantage of telling us what was going on out there. So I decided to go to Moose Pond instead, which also had a cell cam, and which was also telling us that bears were hitting that on a pretty regular basis. Well, we decided to go to the Moose Pond bait because it had a nice bear on it last night. And I think that bear's gonna come back today. Uh, we got a cell cam here, that's how I know that. I really, really wanna go hunt the skunk bear, the one with the blonde mane, but it hasn't been there since we uh, baited. We got a cell cam there. Uh, there were some big bears there in the middle of the night, last two nights in a row. I'm waiting for some daylight hits. I'm hoping they're tomorrow, and maybe tomorrow night we go back there. Um, it's going to be interesting, but we might end up shooting one here. I, I really got a feeling that this bear will be back before dark today. Um, should be a good night. I think uh, most of the people are going to have action. I can't see with the action we're having on these baits. It, uh, we don't get a couple bears down. I think at least two. We'll see. I've been wrong before. It's gonna be a busy night if we do. Yeah. Yeah, it should be fun. We call this Moose Pond. This is uh, an old cutover that we're in right now. And we push a trail through here to this pond that's way, way back. And then we walk that pond quite a ways in. And we set up on the edge of a remote swamp. And I know for a fact that we're the only bait anywhere near that swamp. And this has been a good spot here. It's, uh, it's paid off in the past. And there's been a lot of bears on the camera. So hopefully tonight's the night. And uh, I'll probably shoot one tonight, and then tomorrow that uh, skunk bear will be all over the camera. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'd put one of the other guys on it then. Should be as long fun. as we get them. Yeah. Well, let's go get that bear. All right. So I'm a little disappointed that almost all the bait is gone. But uh, it's kind of funny. The bear came in right here and marked our tree. See that? And you can see down the road, down the path. Wherever we intersect the bear path, coming in here, they mark it with a poop. They're strange animals. Should be fun. Looks pretty hit hard. We'll check the camera. I believe he's here, and he was here yesterday afternoon. If he comes back today, it could get good. What man are we getting the swirling winds? And normally I wouldn't push this, but we're predicted to have these winds all week. So it's either hunt on an iffy wind or don't hunt it at all. And this is where he is, so I'm gonna hunt. 
Um, the milkweed is usually cooperating, but not always. So it could get exciting. Uh, that bear is an absolute giant, but he didn't get that big by being stupid. So hopefully we can beat the wind and beat the bear. Man, I really love that bear. He's so cute and cuddly and fat and jolly. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> The bear never came in, the big bear, or any bear, but I don't think he was there anymore. You know, the, he ate most of the bait. I think he ate everything he wanted and he moved. And then them two bears that hang together, that really big one and uh, the other one that's pretty big, have shown up at John's bait. They've shown up at Beaver Pond and they've even showed up at Remote. I know John's at Remote and I know uh, John's bait didn't get hit. So I'm thinking maybe they, they moved over to Beaver Pond. It'll be interesting to see if they were there tonight. Um, and maybe even last night, because they kind of left early from that bait. What'd you say, it was 11.30? Yep. Yeah, so then if they left early and went over to John's bait, they'll be, or uh, the Beaver Pond, they'll be on that camera. But they're around here somewhere. They keep showing up on all these baits. And they'll stay there till the bait's gone. So all I have to do is find them on one that still has bait. Right. And they're eating it so fast because they're two giants. You know, they're both really big. gone. Pretty much empty. There's some dog food left and a few remnants. So the bears have really been in here. So I'm all set up in the tree. Should be pretty easy. I got a decent wind. So I'm going to shut it off for now and wait for a bear. Well, I, uh, I got in there early in the stand and all the bait was pretty much gone. There was only dog food and a couple chunks. And right away a bear came in at like 1.30 and I didn't know if he was big enough. So I couldn't tell. So I let him go. I watched him. I got him on video for about 20 minutes. Then another one came in and it was about the same size. And I still wasn't too sure about him. And, it, and he just checked the bait and left. But then at like 7.15, 7.10, a, a nice one came in. I mean, it looked big to me. It's a, it was bigger than the ones that I saw. And he came in from the back and he was huffing when he came in. Like I heard him coming over the ridge and he was like whoosh, whoosh, making noise.
and he sat facing me like in the bait looking right at me mm -hmm. and then he turned and sat in the bait with his butt like to me and he was like scratching himself and then when he turned kind of like quartering away this way he put his shoulder forward this way and I shot him then he went he did a turn around the side ran down this ridge down there and then he was growling and and like howling and ripping trees apart and he's over the edge down in the swamp so I didn't Good. go down in there yet because I heard him growling and I didn't want to go in there. That's cool. I mean, it'll be fun recovery. Man, I'll tell you, I'm excited, man. Was, this has been, this is awesome. Sounds like he was an angry one. Oh, he was. He came in huffing. And it was, I mean, that, that stand had like fishers and squirrels and ravens. I mean, the whole day was, it was crazy. But the bears, I mean, I saw three bears, three, well, I think they were three different bears because I saw one, then one came, he ran away, then another one came in and it could have been the same, just did a circle, but... That last one definitely was not the same bear. And it looks like there's, there's blood, blood right, right there. there. Yeah. So which way did he go then? He went this way into the woods, then he crashed down below that ridge, and he stopped down here making noise where I heard him. Okay. So. All right. Well, they cleaned this bait out. Yeah, it looks pretty cleaned out. Chris heard where it was biting some brush and stuff, and growling. It sounded like it died there, right? Yep. So, I mean, we really put in some effort to find a blood trail, but bears don't usually bleed real well. Um, but now Rick finally found some blood, and it's a really good trail. And we're following it right through here. We should be able to come up on the bear. So is it your 20th bear or what? <laughs> my, no, it's my first. feels like my 20th. Yeah. So opening day, you get to hunt bears one day and you get a bear. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty nice. How many bears did you see? Three. Three bears sold. Third bear? Yep, third bear. And that was a little better than the first ones. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's, a, you know, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Really good. Nice. I like that uh, blonde muzzle. You get a lot of them up here that are just all black. Oh, really? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool looking bear. He's nice. even got the uh, eyebrows here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blonde nice. eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, congrats, man. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm excited. Good First job. one. Yeah. <laughs> Took me 49 years. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool hunt though. It's a lot better than what we oh, were doing in Black River Falls. Is much better, yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said at Deer Fest, you know, I was like, this is a totally different ball game up here. You're yeah. definitely going to like it. Oh, at least you see bears. When you, yeah, I mean, you know. this is like a zoo compared to Wisconsin. I mean. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah. You look at M54. I haven't gotten one yet. Well, I appreciate you guys helping me track them and yeah, no get in here and getting them out. It's, what time Thanks is for it, coming like, back what? to camp and waking me up. Two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's like, like two right o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we've been at this all night. <laughs> Tomorrow we start over. Yeah. <laughs> and we still got to get this thing skinned out and gutted and stuff. I mean, yeah. we still got to get back to the truck. We could probably just skip tonight and just go into hunting tomorrow and <laughs> skin <laughs> bears. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to sleep. No. Well, good job. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for taking me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's fun, it's man. Fun. You've done a lot for us. You supplied us with bait and stuff, and mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, no, cool. I'm, I'm excited. All those eight-hour, one-way drives, and you know, 32 hours awake. This is this yeah. makes it worth it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Right. Thanks again. No problem. We're out here in opening day of bear season on sow bait. One biggie. Coming in, random diamonds. We're open today is the day though. We're gonna catch them while we're in the tree instead of walking up on empty baits. <laughs> we're gonna make them pay. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we drove in here a little earlier today and we checked the bait and it's just pounded. And there's literally almost no bait. I'm feeling pretty good about it, except a little, uh, a little bit of ATV traffic. So I don't know. see if that affects us. Yeah, bands. we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, baby. Sprayed out enough for you. 
And now you're going to have to dig down deep. <laughs> you ever shoot a bear in the ground? No. Tonight might be the night. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, Steve and Tyler didn't see any bears. Maybe it was the excessive amount of ATV traffic. Maybe the bears had their number. Well, we checked out the bait that we call John's bait, and it wasn't hit. So we decided to move over to the what we call the remote bait. That one was hit last night and the night before with uh, good bear. So yeah. we're optimistic that that bear is going to come back in daylight. And Gonna get a good shot at him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just set up the stand, so it's looking pretty set up good. The stand, we got it all ready. I'm gonna get get my gear ready and head out. All right. Well, good luck. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> John had changed his mind about hunting John's bait because when we went in to set his stand up, the bait hadn't been hit. Having the cell cams, it showed the remote bait was getting hit quite well from some nice bears. Having the Exodus trail cam send us pictures remotely where we didn't have to go in and bother the remote bait showed a lot of big bears hitting that bait, and John wanted to try that. It was a perfect evening, beautiful weather. Okay. The only thing that w happened was the wind totally died out. Yep. There was no wind going anywhere, and uh, I think maybe my scent was drifting down. Uh, and uh, they were spooky. And I had a little poplar tree that was to the right side of the bait, but kind of in my way there. Man, that was a giant. That was the biggest bear we were seeing on the cameras. And John had his crack, and the bear winded him. Now, it's a good point here, though, to look. There was one little tiny sapling that had grown into the shot window. And if that sapling was gone, I think John would have had his shot. Well, this bait had a lot of big bears coming in. So hopefully another bear comes in because this was still early.
you get it on video. I got the bear coming in on video, and I'm not sure what happened after that. I think because I had to turn to my left to shoot, because he was kind of on the left side. Yeah. I think the crossbow hit the little flap on the camera and closed it. Oh, come on. Turned it off. <laughs> it's a lot of excitement. I'm not sure if I hit the bear, but well, I did hit it. I got a blood trail. Uh, but the funny thing was, is there was no, really no blood on the arrow. I don't understand it. Mm, it might have cleaned off on the fat. It could be. Uh, I got what appears to be fat and black grease on the fletchings of the arrow. I got a blood trail. It's bright w red blood. Bear came through this trail right here. Started getting on top of these logs. Moved this one a little bit and was on top of it. I shot the stand was up there. Came down here. Went through the bear. Stuck into one of these stumps. And then the bear just turned. Walked that way a little bit. Stood over there. I found some blood over there. And I backed out. To you just walked away? Yeah. It didn't. But maybe moved quickly from here to there and then stood right over there and there was blood there. Okay. I didn't see a lot of blood. Is that your, your arrow impact on there? Arrow impact was down, in, down here. That's pretty low. Was well, the bear way up here? The bear was in, in here. Okay. And it was low, but I think it maybe hit a rib and went down because it, it was the trajectory was down. Oh, okay. All right. Looking at John's footage in slow motion, it was pretty apparent that when the crossbow arm opened up, it hit that camera pretty hard. And in slow motion, you can see the arrow doing some pretty wonky stuff. And it looks like it just barely hits the bottom of the bear. When we tracked the bear, there was a pretty good amount of blood um, for a short ways. And then it just stopped. And John was really taking it hard. Uh, he didn't want to wound a bear, as uh, none of us do. And... What is interesting is the next day, checking the cell cam, that bear was on moose pond bait. Um, actually, he was on the pond bait while we were tracking him. So that was pretty interesting. Um, I think the arrow just grazed the bottom of him. I hope you're enjoying the series. We got one more show to edit, and it should be a good one. Dude, there's something by the barrels. A bear? Let's go. Dan, you're supposed to be on a diet.